This research starts from the Monte Martini Central in Rome, a place where archaeological items and industrial heritage stay together, and is a place where to find an interesting light lamp that is a work from Duilio Cambellotti, a very active Art Nouveau artist from the 20th century. And he was extremely active in the sheen of the arts and is better known for works that show a clearly simplification of the human body and announce something that was coming farther on from the history of arts. His scenography and artworks show an extreme accuracy about the graphic, the lines and elements that are far, maybe from strictly the Art Nouveau language. But in that period, the period of the Industrial Revolution, the electric was an extremely interesting element and these figures are clearly showing these elements in their air, are dancing around, in a round and round a rose uh, dance, which is something that's come from the old times, is quite ancient and recall a ritual that is a dance that symbolized in the end a sort of death. But in this scene is extremely lively and interesting. And so it was decided to take a complete photogrammetry of it using an Icon D800. It was uh, taken a large group of pictures that were used to create a complete textured 3D model. This model was the base for creating a versatile version of the model and a simplified version to be brought inside the Sketchfab platform and it was a way to read, interpret and complete uh, the documentation of this element. It is extremely interesting to see how the figure emerge from the uh, surface and it's possible to see the naked body dancing uh, with a certain harmony and are moving all around continuously. These elements show even some elements connecting them to the sense of electricity with these flames, electric flames coming out in shape of arrows from their ears and giving this idea of an uh, electrified uh, body. So it was a step forward to try to make the reconstruction of them in uh, i.e. in artificial intelligence for image generation, but first problem, no i.e. at the moment all of you to use words like naked, you may use words like undressed, you may use other words, but you cannot use naked. And so the results are quite different from the sheen and even interpreting the random random rose words seems to be quite complex for the artificial intelligence engines uh, from mid-journey to all the others it's, it looks like it's more easy to create a circle than create a round round rose sheen and some of them make really a mess with it here we see Dali 2 which turned out to be extremely uh, difficult to create a sheen that was even a little similar to the original one or no matter the description. Creating Art Nouveau sheen and creating a sheen with monochrome um, word, it turned out to create mostly uh, um, something like a comic strip or something like a drawing that was uh, quite interesting and sometimes even nice and sometimes weird as we can see here but was never uh, something that was close to the sheen of having a close round of women dancing all together. And here we see various tentatives with the refining of the words but it keep on coming out with this uh, circle that closed the whole sheen and does not create anything that was similar to the light lamp. Even the women were sometimes a little bit weird and it is clear that there is yet for some of the various engines used some issues with the hands, with the arms, with a correct 
anatomy of the body of those women, which turned out to be sometimes even when then their number was specified to be four, to be three, five, something even more, and there is a very rich decoration all around the circle, there is the dance, there is their dresses that is impossible to remove using a phrase, and sometimes there were plenty of uh, arms, fingers, uh, legs, uh, and so on. But mostly the quality of the result was extremely interesting and was given some inspiration about uh, possible uh, sculptures, um, possible artworks connected uh, somehow to this particular sheen from the Art Nouveau. The concept was obviously influenced by a mainstream idea that was more uh, cinema, we may say, movie inspired than inspired by arts, but overall the result was interesting. Introducing the word bronze and trying to suggest the idea of status turned out to be uh, quite reasonable to enhance the final result, but even in this way the sheen was never a real round round rose uh, sequence and it was almost impossible to have them closed. This is a um, word of some reflection because in time when these engines will start to create even 3D models even to support the sheen uh, in animation mode this kind of limit will be needed to be uh, surpassed somehow and given more controls or, or, or more uh, option for suggesting positioning of uh, uh, people in the sheen because in the end the statue is a part of the architectonic uh, creation in many cases and having such a limit in the definition of the sheen and such uh, complexity that use very very enhanced uh, digital system but it is limited by in the end the understanding or the comprehension or the simple interpretation of the words in use turn out to be a little messy because in the end just having the idea of closing the first end with the last end should be something that is extremely basic and even the shape the proportion of the women turn out to be extremely modern and extremely close to an idea uh, of beauty that is more from the newspaper or from the uh, movie or video clip than from an uh, artistical sheen. Uh, just to check the option we even try to uh, use the existing images, the uh, images taken out from the photogrammetry to uh, see what happened feeding the, uh, some of the eye using this basis and uh, it was uh, extremely interesting but it never turned out to be a uh, um, reconstruction or transposition of the result and uh, even when the sheen was connected to column to a sheen that was based on the shape of a column it was never uh, able to complete the sequence in the correct way and give that harmony and balance seen in the artwork from uh, the artist. And here we see other samples and here we go shortly to see the, uh, what happens using uh, the reference of the photogrammetry as a base for the creation of the image. In fact, there is no doubt that the quality of the bronze, the rendering option for getting uh, material that is metal, is uh, like bronze, is extremely good, but the organization of the sheen is never satisfactory. And here we see the result from the mixing the images coming from photogrammetry to the eye processing, which is most of all a recoloring or a reconstruction of the figure with another one that in the end 
is not such a masterpiece and is not uh, completely convincing. So, in the end, it's possible to see that uh, is, there is yet some time to spend waiting for a solution that brings to a complete result, but it's extremely interesting to test and to see what came out.